Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a review on the, I think this is new, but this is the first time I've seen it in Ulta, the Juvia's Place Culture Palette. Now I have not tried very much from Juvia's Place. They have some beautiful collections, but none have caught my eye enough where I want to pick it up. So I finally saw this and I thought, oh my gosh, that is beautiful. We have to try it out. I was very intrigued that every row, vertical row or column had a different color. I was intrigued by a lot of these shimmers and I wanted to just review it for you guys. So if you're new here, hi, my name's Anna. I do upload about four to five times a week and I do all things beauty. So I also am dabbling in lifestyle, but if you're new here, um, please be sure to go ahead and subscribe and ring the bell. It helps my channel out so much. It really does. And I forgot to do setting spray today. I'm going to use my Pixi Hydrating Milky Mist. This has quickly become one of my favorites. I do want to give a disclaimer on these, these shade names. Probably go, oh no, not probably. I am going to butcher some of these names. I am sorry, um, but I just, yeah. So it says on the back of the palette, join us on an explorative adventure of the beautiful and rich culture of Africa. A show-stopping burst of unique and irresistible colors or shades just destined to make any look pop. This retails for $36. I picked mine at Ulta. I will have an affiliate link down below where I do earn a small commission off it. You don't have to purchase it through my link, but it helps my channel out so much. Um, Juvia's Place is one of those brands that you can use coupons on at Ulta. So you can use your 350 off of 15, or you can also use your points, which I bought a lot of stuff with my points when I did, and I'm so excited. I, I have not been ex this excited about a palette in a while so for me you know especially testing out a brand that really i've only tried maybe one product and that was their foundation so it's been a couple years but i have no idea what look i'm gonna do with this but we are gonna go through shades here this has 30 shades for 36 bucks that's a pretty good deal in my opinion it is cruelty free so let's go through shade names and i'm sorry in advance Nera Land. Ify, Benin, 9JA, Afrobeats, Boro New, Jigawa, Teraba, Ethic, Delta, Yoruba, Edo, 1960, Tiev, Kobo, Ashanti, Bono, Katanga, Shauna, Debel, Calabash, Talking Drum, Talking Drums, Shakir, Igowas, Azabia, Biafra, Kalabari, Ija, San, and Walla. Again, I'm really sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. So, um, I'm the color that has really drawn me in the most, I would say, is Ashanti. This is such a beautiful shade. And I'm thinking about maybe doing some teal and pink. I don't know. So we're gonna go ahead, pull the camera forward, and get on started. If you're curious about any of the other makeup that I'm wearing, I do have everything listed down below, like I always do. So let's go ahead and get started. I do wanna note this eye does have a dry patch on it. It is getting better, but it looks weird with foundation on. So eyeshadow is gonna look a little different over here for a really good representation of the blending and the pigmentation. This eye is your go-to. I also don't know why I have a dry patch, so if anybody could be of assistance to me, that'd be great. All right, I'm going to take a Morphe M441. This is one of my favorite blending brushes. And I'm going to go into the shade Talking Drums. This is a really nice neutral shade. This is out of like the corally neutral row, or column, I should say. The I think the big downside here, I would love for this to have had a mirror. I get it. I mean, I, I would love that, but we're going to take my ColourPop and Baby Yoda mirror, or Grogu, as the correct name is, but I don't really care. It is still Baby Yoda to me. There is a lot of pigmentation to this shade, and blending is very nice. This blended really, really well. I am quite impressed with it. Next, I want to go into 9JA, 
which is this one right here. It's a little more of like an orangey brown. And I'm going to take a smaller brush. This is actually from a BoxyCharm box. When I'm putting my brush into the pan, there is like slight kick up, if you can tell right here. There's slight kick up. There's not too much. It seems like that nice amount of pressing where it's not, you know, too crazy, but there's still some nice pigmentation. It's not pressed too firmly, but it's not pers pressed too gently where there's going to be powder flying literally everywhere. So I'm just kind of patting this on the outer part of the eye just to kind of pink it and coral it up a bit, if that's even a word. <laughs> Juvia's Place is usually one of those brands that I don't really like keep my eye on. And I didn't even see this like on Trend Mood or anything. So I'm not entirely sure if this is brand new, but it looked new to me. There we go. Oh, that's so pretty. Um, I want to go dive into some coral and pink. So I'm gonna take the shade Alabari, which is this bright pink right here. It's almost like a, a highlighter pink, but not as bright, if that makes sense. <laughs> I don't know. We're gonna take a Morphe M508. This is a really nice detailer brush. And we're gonna see how these bright colors work. This is always like a really good test of the palette because I, if I'm, if my knowledge is correct here, oh wow. Wowza! That is quite bright. Wow. <laughs> wow. That is very bright. What I was gonna say, if my knowledge um, serves me correctly here, like more brighter neon y shades are a little bit more difficult to make and formulate. Wow. Wow, this is like totally outside of my comfort zone. <laughs> so, what else do I want to do? I don't know. Let's go into Wazo Wazobia, Wazobia, right here. And I'm going to be taking a really like just kind of small detailer brush. I'm going to fully deepen up the outer corner here. Again, not a lot of kickback coming off the brush. Not a lot of kick back on the pans. I am liking this palette quite a lot. This probably isn't the most everyday palette, but you can definitely create everyday looks using it, which I'm always in appreciation of. So I want to take this shade Ija, Ija. This is a beautiful champagne shade. I should also note with these beautiful shimmers, they are so creamy. Oh my goodness, they're so beautiful. But I'm just gonna take it on a flat brush. I'm not even gonna use any, I'm not gonna dampen the brush. And we're gonna pop this on the inner corner. That's pretty. And I'm gonna, actually gonna bring some of it down. That's gorgeous. The main star of the show is a Shanti. This is a beautiful pink with almost a green reflect to it, if we can kind of see up close here. This is my favorite shade in the palette, I think. So with my finger, I'm going to just go in and apply it. This is so beautiful. Wow. Oh my goodness. This is beautiful. I love this palette so much. I'm gonna take a little bit of the shade F Efic. I'm gonna show you it. I, you, I wanna kinda see if the duo chrome here is gonna show up in, cause I can see it in the pan. You know, I don't know if the camera will, but this is the shade I wanna take. This is a light pink, but it also has that same bluey green duo chrome that Ashanti has. And I wanna take, yeah, I don't know if you can see it, but it is quite evident in real life. Yeah, you can't, it doesn't show up on camera. Why? <laughs> but I'm gonna take it just gently and pop it on the center of the lid right here, just for a little extra brightness. I'm gonna wipe off my hands here. <laughs> but there we go. This is so 
good. This is beautiful. The, I am just... Yeah, I tried one Juvia's Place palette and I, I know for a fact I only swatched it and I just was kind of not a fan of the shades. This was back in like... Mm, 2019? Or 2020? Maybe 2020. But I, I wasn't a fan of it so I actually just decluttered it. I think I passed it along to one of my friends. Now, that, so this is my first Juvia's Place palette that I'm like using on my channel and I'm so excited about it. So this is the look I'm going to use some liner and mascara so for liner i'm gonna use the milani the tank liquid liner this is one of my favorites and then we're gonna use tarte big ego mascara fitting color right <laughs> and then i'm also gonna layer some pacifica vegan collagen fluffy lash mascara which if you're at the drugstore at ulta this is a glass bottle mascara and this is so good so i highly recommend this and i recommend tarte and i recommend milani so yeah, we are going to do that and we'll be back for final thoughts. This is the finished look. I love this so much. You will be seeing me use more of these this palette in Get Ready With Me's, Shop My Stashes, everything. I am in love with this palette. I think this is a great buy at Ulta. Highly recommend it. It is linked down below for your purchasing pleasure. So yes, I cannot recommend this more. I really love the look. I barely had any fallout too. And especially with bright shades like this, that's a good sign. So highly recommend it. But yeah, that is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you enjoyed this review. If you have not already, like I said, please be sure to just like and subscribe. It helps my channel out so, so much. And that is it. I will see you for another video on Tuesday. Bye.